Sure. In Jakoa, we have a memorial for the Saints' War. They say a Rawatai artillery master contributed to the God Hammer Bomb. I wondered if... Of course. You want Rawatai to be a part of this history. Crow about how your people helped the Deerwood. Maybe your Ranganui lied, Amawa. On second thought, I'll ask anyone. The other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. They speak out of concern for you. Now tell me, is there something to their concern? You have been an apt student, and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? These are the ways of the heathen world. <laughs> Perhaps they would. It may come to that one day. This is why we must not fail. The heathens are beyond the gods' reach. They do not know better. We are tasked with delivering them to the gods, so that the gods may heal their souls. I have seen it with my own eyes. You will see it too if you choose to remain. There is no greater calling than the one we have chosen. Neither words, nor wealth, nor battle will end this suffering. Only the gods. Will you give them that chance? Good day, stranger.
So, the messenger conveyed my summons. A miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. Since then, as I understand it, you entered a quarantine district that is absolutely off-limits to all civilians and somehow managed to walk back out with your life. What could possibly have been on your mind to make you do such a thing? Not just any someone, though. Someone in the service of the Leaden Key. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why are you looking for the Leaden Key? The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon. Grand Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men Aora has ever known. More than most, though very few would know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than 2,000 years. If rumors are to be believed, Theos was the one who created it. What scraps of evidence exist suggests that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same man. Awakened during adolescence with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes, the plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things. But he is said to be one of Woodica's favored, and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. He is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. And once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. The same way I come by all my knowledge. Exhaustive research, spying, bribery, perhaps some less savory measures. Whatever the knowledge demands, I pay in full. There is nothing of greater value. Unfortunately, with Theos, there is also nothing more scarce. He has covered his tracks far too well. His manipulations of the course of history are lost to time now, though I believe they were many. Keep me informed. 
The leaden key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it, and provide you with what assistance I can. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. Well, let's hear it. This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leaden Key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. The applications of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. Precious little, I'm afraid. You may know much of it already. No one member knows the identity of more than a handful of other members. They are kept in the dark of missions they are not involved in, or sometimes of those they are involved in. They exist to hide secrets they themselves don't know, if you can imagine how gullible someone must be for that to appeal. Despite that, they are very good at what they do, owing much to their founder, who will take matters into his own hands when necessary, and he does not fail. Yes? Try your best not to die out there.
Raved out philosophy. Mm-hmm. Hey there. Sure. Hey there. I shall be discreet. Hey there.
So that's how it's gonna go? This is good shot.
Ready, one. Following your lead. This isn't working. How bad have
Following your lead. <laughs> Walls need some work before this place is secure. My husband could fix them right up. My lord, you've received a letter, delivered with some urgency as it happens. I thought the messenger might swoon, poor dear. It's from Stalwart. Apparently the mayor, Renengild, has heard of your success here at Cadnua, and hopes you can be of aid to her people as well. Stalwart is a mining community, and at one time they enjoyed a great deal of influence. Renengild hopes to reclaim old glories, I expect. It seems she's intent on gaining access to Durgan's battery. And she's offering quite the reward to anyone who can get inside. A reward, she says, for getting into the battery. <laughs> That's a reward of its own, surely. I couldn't say, my lord. I do know that Renengild expects that anyone entering the battery will likely encounter spirits much like those you were faced with here at the Stronghold. Let us hope there are no Mad Watchers, at least. There are many legends concerning the Battery. As the Earl told it, the Dwarves fought amongst themselves, each seeking to use the Battery to further his or her own ambitions. Greed and cruelty brought down the Battery, and now the spirits of those same Dwarves roam the halls. Whatever happened, the battery has been impenetrable ever since. A shame. I don't doubt that there are great treasures still within those halls. Oh, just think! The greatest of the Dwarven strongholds! Ours to explore! I should mention that, among those rumored to have answered Renengild's summons, is a certain group I believe you may have an interest in. 
Followers of Woodaka intent on reaching Stalwart and the Battery. I do not know what they seek there, but I thought it worth mentioning, given your interest in the ruins at Defiance Bay. Now that I've delivered Renningild's message, there is also a local matter of some concern, my lord. A mercenary band has been sighted to the northeast. I believe they mean to take Consul Hot's tower, and I don't expect the Archmage will go quietly. Consul Hot's one of the greatest wizards of our generation! The Torn Bannermen are a deadly fighting force, and Consul Hot himself has sent many travelers to their graves. I would caution you to stay clear of the region if you do travel to the White March. It is not that I doubt your courage, my lord, but Consul Hot alone boasts power of a different scale altogether to those foes you have faced thus far. Given more time, perhaps, you will match him. If the Bannermen succeed in their efforts, I fear they may turn their attention to Kadnua. I will keep you apprised of the situation, my lord. Safe travels, my lord. It's very nice. We're not sleeping here, are we? It's very nice. We're not sleeping here, are we?